Well, it looked like a pretty nice space, but there were definitely some mistakes in the space that we just saw right before the break. Little things that a lot of us tend to do. So there it is right there. You can see we're missing a coffee table by the two white chairs. Uh, the, the art is hung a little bit high. Yeah. Now check out what Suzanne has done to this space to switch it. Oh my gosh, that we wall color made together. a huge difference. Yeah. Doesn't it? It makes a big, big difference. First of all, it just gives you that contrast we talked about. It does. See how the art has come lower. Right. And if you want some rules because people like rules right I, I go by around 60 to 66 inches on center to the artwork from the floor okay. in an average size room that's just a guideline you have to eyeball things I, I I love eyeballing things because and I love getting people to hang things up and then stand back you and look have at it. to do that drives right? my husband crazy sure. but you have to do that um, but that's a good rule and then your sconces I like the sconces to be just a little bit higher than that center point of the art so mm. 68 inches on center to the sconce as a rule, but you can again play with it. Yeah. So just it's about bringing things together and creating relationships. Right. That's what it is. And, and you there's see, something visually very pleasing about yeah. that as well, the way they hang. And the art, the I feel like the color on the wall, this is actually Kensington blue, mm. um, actually makes the art pop more than the old color did. Absolutely. Now the coffee table is coffee another table. big change. Much this, bigger, right? It was needed. Yes, it was needed. Before, we had two little tables, which was very hard for people to reach from each angle. And I think that happens a lot. People sort of let the coffee table float in the middle. Mm -hmm. You need to have about 15 to 18 inches between the edge of your sofa or chair to the coffee table for good flow and to be able to reach. So that's right. what this did. I like the scale of it. I like how big it is. And I like how it creates a grouping with the furniture. And remember yeah. the chairs before? Oh, they were slip this. covered and kind oh, of. Oh, so that's what happened. That's what happened. We changed the chairs. So they, okay. were, they were the I wrong knew chairs. I something was different, yeah. but I couldn't figure it out. They were the wrong chairs. And, yeah. and that's the thing. Like, they were great chairs. I love those chairs, but they were a bit shabby chic, that they look. Were. They didn't really marry with the very tailored look of this gorgeous mm -hmm. sofa. I like chairs that have an open arm like these. They're very sculptural. They look good from all angles. And we see we brought them closer together. Yes. Put your table in between so you have a place to play, put your drink, Tracy, Beautiful. at the party. I love it. <laughs> and then we added the ottomans. I think that's one thing is just thinking about even though they have to go back just a little bit yeah. even though they're not really the place you're going to sit when you're just you and your husband but when you have guests over it's nice to have a place for people to perch and create conversation lines so yeah. another rule generally think about 3.5 feet for the shorter distances and 10 feet for the longer distances okay that's what creates good conversation um, and good flow again Big other change, you can see fewer cushions. Yes, you can actually sit down You now can sit down. On the sofa. This always works, two in the corner, one in the corner, depending upon the size of your sofa. Yeah. And we have more lamps now. The lamp before, if you remember, here mm -hmm. was super tall. It was. It was super tall. It was a great lamp, but it might get knocked over. So we went with something that was just a little bit lower, again, closer in intimacy to the furniture. And if you look, Tracy, see how all the heights of the furniture are kind of the same? Yeah. That puts people at the same level. So that I hate, one thing that I really can't stand is when some person's sitting really high up on a chair and someone's really low. Uh -huh. So think about that level to make sure everyone's sort of at the same level. It's a power thing, isn't it? It kind when you're of in is. the big throne yeah, and you're kind of looking is. down at all the it's, people. It's that tactic that you use when you're interviewing somebody, That's right? right? I'm the boss, right? Good stuff. And of course, the rug. The rug, the rug the is a lot bigger. And if you want to rule around a rug, I mean, usually you want all your furniture sitting on the carpet if you can, yeah. or at least the front feet like we've done here. What's bad is when the carpet's just kind of floating on its own and it really does look like a bath mat instead right. of a carpet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's not for wiping your feet. Okay, so thank you so much to Cocoon for, uh, for, for all of this all of great, this. Uh, it's beautiful furniture. I love the Ottomans.